Hello guys, welcome in this new tutorial. Today I'll be sharing with you um, two pandas tricks that you might not be aware of. So let's start by importing pandas as pd. So this is used to um, load the data frame. So our data frame name is candidates data, candidates data frame. So pd dot read csv and my files name e candidate dot csv okay and let's have a look at the data frame so as you can see here we have a data frame of only five no only six observations and six columns so once we have that let's just check the columns type the types so from this execution we can get the type of each column the first um, name degree from uh, all objects but here um, the application date is also um, an object format so what we want to have is a actual date time format so instead of objects we can solve this issue by specifying an attribute called an attribute called parse dates so with parse dates we just give as a list on the name of the column we are interested in formatting so let's check one more time the type of the columns so here we have the date time, the application date that has been converted from object to date time. You know, um, so this is beneficial when you want to um, perform further analysis on your date time column, which is not possible using the object format. So um, actually, this was <laughs> what we solved previously so the second one is to be able to perform sql like queries using your pandas data frame because sometimes you might want to be able to perform you know sql queries that are similar um, like kind of different when you are using pandas data frame so this is something that we can use using the um, query function let's have a look at this example so imagine that you want to get candidates with only master's degree. So what we do here is to specify your pandas data frame, the query function, and here is the instruction, the query, the actual query that you want to perform. So degree is the name of a column equal equal masters. So from this query, we want to get students, I mean actual candidates, um, who have um, a master's degree. So let's run this. So as you can see from the degree column, we have only master students. And something else that you might want to do is to use like um, list format. So here we want to get students who live in Abidjan and Dakar. As you can see here, we have um, two values we are interested in. So to solve this kind of problem, we can use a list. And from this list here, we have Abidjan and Dakar. And using the same query function, we specify this time the at sign. So from the at sign, it means that we want to get the values from this attribute. So running this one, we get this result. So as you can see, um, we have um from column in the from column we have only the result from abidjan dakar abidjan dakar and that's it these are the two tricks that i wanted to share with you today um in the coming videos i'll be sharing more tricks and tips um so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and also drop in the comment section what you want me to cover in the coming sections so thank you and Goodbye.